Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life here on this awfully dreary day outside. Oh, it's bright, but it's overcast. I don't know. Um, currently printing one of the Y slider pieces. Let's just get a full picture for you. There it is. Um, I was stupid. I forgot to test the diameter of... Wow, this is not this camera's not working too well i forgot to test the diameter of these posts that will hold the bearings um so they're probably gonna end up being too big so i'll just have to sand them down i hope they're not too small because well actually then i can just put tape on them or something um i'm really just trying to get it to work at this point it doesn't have to be perfect um i have also as of yesterday printed out both of the bearing ends this lighting is awful i apologize um here we go. There's one of the ends. Rod goes in there, and there's the other. Uh, I tested these with the rod. The rod actually ended up being too long, so I must have miscalculated something. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this piece because first of all, I was stupid and I put the bolt or the screw in here. It, it mounts through the same hole that the rod goes through. You can't really see, um, but then I remembered that. The rod and this piece and this piece will have to all be put together before you put it on here. Which means you would have no way of screwing in this bolt. <laughs> so I'm going to redesign this piece to have both um, a deeper um, hole distance and also to have screw mounting like this where there's a hole for the Allen wrench. Oops. Um, where'd it go? Stop moving. There's a hole for the Allen wrench there, but the bolt is actually inside, and it comes through this hole. Yeah, lighting is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm basically, I'm going to keep these parts just for mine temporarily, and what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, printing out those new pieces once this thing is together and working, because I can, I can work around the... Um, only being able to screw in the bolt when there's no rod in it because um, I can have this guy slide down and then I uh, You know I could figure it out. I also printed out a bunch more of these guys um, I haven't put in any except for the one just to kind of test the The fit of this guy um, also these have These pieces to go along with them the lighting's much better over here um, which goes in this hole with the the bearing on it, obviously, and then it swings around and it screws in through a hole there. And there's a nut in that piece. Let me just show you real quick. And there's a nut in here so that it holds it nice and tight. So that's all the progress that I've made so far. Um, I can't really put this part together until I have the rods from that printer, which means um, I can't really do it until everything is printed out. But what I'm probably going to do is after I finish, um, well these guys are done, after I finish the two Y sliders and the X carriage with the extruder carriage, I'm going to temporarily disassemble my printer, uh, pray to God I can put it back together, and I will <clears throat> throw everything together. Uh, bolt it all together, hook up the belt, print out some pulleys, or hopefully I'll get the ones in the mail by then. And um, at that point I will also edit the firmware on the printer board and test it to make sure that this whole thingy works and that it's rigid. Um, and that would be the entire XY. And if that works correctly, I can then, <laughs> this will be fun, disassemble it all again, rebuild the printer, and then... Um, and well, at that point, <clears throat> I would really know that this XY part is done and there's no more work that has to go into it, other than fixing the files for all you guys so it's not quite a pain in the ass to put together. Uh, at that point, I will start working on the Z axis, which will be a challenge in and of itself. I'm thinking of doing, at this point, changing it up and doing a, a two screw style. Um, so, this is the back of the unit, technically. So this is going to be the front, what you're looking at. Um, the back has the motors. I'm thinking of putting uh, two Z screws, one here, one here, and 
having, not sure how I'm going to do it exactly, but then, you know, have a thing in the middle. But the benefit to that is I can get a relatively large build platform and just have it mount directly to those plastic parts that are holding the flange um, bolts or even um, screw those flange bolts, the flange nuts I mean, uh, into the bed itself with a hole in it and that would be even better, even more rigid. I would just have to figure out a way to mount the bearings to the bed. So yeah, um, still a bit of work to be done but I am definitely making progress. Uh, <clears throat> Especially as far as the XY system goes. I mean, um, once this Y piece prints, I just gotta verify it works, prints the mirrored version, and then I gotta finish up the extruder carriage and print that. So, I'm hoping that all the parts for this XY will be printed by, uh, what's today, Thursday? I'd say printed by Saturday, and then Sunday, if I'm not doing anything, I can work on destroying that to make this and if that all works I would be a very happy camper and I'm sure many of you guys would be too if you're waiting for the kits and the files um, now when the XY is done and when I can verify that it works I will release the files to you guys for the XY the Z will still be to come um, at that point I'll also release a working bill of materials I'll put it on Google Drive so I can update it whenever and that's pretty much it so um, hopefully by Sunday or Monday um, you guys who want to do this whole thing on your own can start printing out parts for yourself um, the, the ZX may, may take another week or two after that point to get finished um, but I guess I'll just have to work on that and see how it goes alright thank you all for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more updates uh, I will try to be doing one once the two Y sliders and the X thing are done. And then I'll do one when the whole thing is assembled, of course, because I know you're all going to want to see that. I mean, uh, the X, Y is assembled. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.